Welcome to a new sewing video. I'm really really excited about this one because I have finally got myself some really exciting fabric. Not that I didn't have exciting fabric before, but this one I just I just I just love it. <laughs> so a couple of days ago I headed over to IKEA and I knew that they had a bunch of kind of you know just um fabric that you can measure and then cut and buy yourself and i know that they have this undyed cotton for like two euros per meter so that is incredible so i wanted to get some of that for mock-ups and then i saw this stuff this absolutely gorgeous floral fabric with butterflies and birds and flowers and just oh it is so beautiful so this fabric is called Philodendron, it is sold in Ikea, you can buy it there, and I just had to pick it up. So I do have to say this is, I'm pretty sure this is meant for upholstery, it is upholstery weight, it's pretty heavy, it's pretty thick, but I did wash it with some fabric softener, <laughs> it's a little bit better now. And honestly it's so pretty that I don't really mind that the fabric is maybe not meant for clothing. I think it'll be fine and I think actually the weight and thickness of the fabric will make it a little bit better to be worn in autumn so that I can actually wear this dress. So yes, I'm gonna make a dress out of this. I already gave that away but probably isn't very surprising. And I have chosen this pattern for that that I still had. It is the Butterick B6556 and it is marked as an easy pattern. It is one by Patterns by Gertie and it's just a pretty classic kind of 1950s style dress. I do want to make the sleeves a little bit longer because you guys know I love my half length sleeves and I think those are just perfect for kind of year round wear. So I'm gonna alter it a little bit but I hope that for everything else I can just use this pattern. It looks very simple. I already cut out my pattern pieces and I hope I actually do have the right size this time. I measured my actual body measurements and I measured the measurements of the garments and this should leave me with a pretty snug fit with a little bit of ease so fingers crossed and if I mess it up then I can always just go back to Ikea and get more of this fabric so yes first step is to transfer my pattern onto this fabric and then we can get started pattern pieces. This is the first time I'm working with a pattern that actually has a direction and um, can be matched up. So I struggle enough with making sure it's all cut in the right direction so I didn't even attempt to pattern match because I have no idea how that's done. I would have to learn how to do that I guess. So next project maybe. But for now I'm just happy that I got this to all line up correctly. <laughs> so the next step is to get my interfacing on the bodice pieces, I have my front here and these are the back pieces. Uh, I'm gonna get my interfacing ironed on. The pattern says to go for sew-on interfacing, but I just, I think this iron-on will be sufficient. So I'm just gonna go with that and then start sewing the top together. It's a pretty straightforward pattern actually. I just do the darts and then do the lining, get those together. And then it's onto the sleeves already, so it seems easy enough.
All right, I tried on the bodice and the dress is running a bit tight. I don't understand the sizing on these, I just don't. But luckily at this point I can still very easily go back and add a bit of room. So I think I'm gonna start by just reducing the seam allowance on the side seams a bit and see if that's enough. Okay, I moved both the darts and the side seams, so it is quite a bit bigger now. I may actually have overdone it a little bit. I took out about half of the darts and about half of the side seams as well, but I hope that any excess I have now can be uh, compensated for here when I attach the zipper in the back. So I'm just gonna make sure that all the excess fabric sticks out in the back uh, when I attach it to the skirt. But I do feel like this will fit me a lot better and I'm glad I did it now because now I need to do the lining. So I'm gonna make the exact same top again. Hope I get the sizes right so that they actually fit and are the same size. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna be the lining and then I will attach the bodice to the lining. It's day two. The bodice is nearly finished. I tried it on yesterday and it did turn out a little bit on the larger side, but too big is better than too small. So I will see if I can fix that later on down the line, if it's necessary once I attach the skirt, but it is looking pretty good. Something else that happened <laughs> is when I was doing the understitching, I forgot to um, pull out the corner here. There's a little V shape um, on the edge. Let's see if I can show you that on the, on the pattern. Um, the front has a little V shape on it, but I, I, I lost that in my understitching, so it's more of a sweetheart neckline now, but I actually don't mind that. I actually think I like this more because I wasn't a huge fan of that little V, so I'm just gonna leave that. <laughs> so next step is to set in my sleeves. I did already sew those up and hem, hem them? Do you say hem when it's a sleeve? Anyways, they are all finished, so I just need to set those in and then I can work on the skirt. It seems like a pretty quick project if I am indeed almost done, like it seems that I am, so yeah, let's just keep going. Sleeve time. It's a new day. I am working on the skirt. I am turning this into this huge long panel that will then be pleated, but I've run into a problem with my pockets because I have attached the two side seams where the pocket sits like that. And it's looking pretty good, I must say. Pocket's great, but I noticed that for some reason <laughs> My seams um, where the pocket is attached are on the visible side and they're not inside the skirt. And somehow I can't imagine that that is what's supposed to happen, so I'm confused. I'm gonna have to unpick this and figure out how to do this so that it doesn't sit like that. I think I've got it. <laughs> that was me thinking. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think I've got it. I think I was supposed to just stitch the pocket on like this and not inside out. So I need to pick it apart and reattach it like that. I think that would be the solution. I hope. Let's try that again. <laughs> I fixed the pockets, both sides, and now I have this 
super wide tube that is gonna be my skirt so I'm just going to do my gathers now I have the markings on the inside here which should make it a bit easier but I've never I've never done gathers all around let's put it that way I've only done little like one individual gather on each side but we'll see how this goes and that should put me very close to the end because after that it's only setting in the zipper and attaching the top to the skirt All right, I almost broke my brain trying to figure out these pleats. I must say I'm not a huge fan of this pattern. The instructions are very confusing on several points that don't have to be that confusing, I feel. But I managed to do something that looks decent and I attached the skirt to the bodice also in a way that is somewhat decent. I did stitch over the basting stitches here, but I think I'll just remove those. Uh, I'm gonna stop here for today because it's a lot. <laughs> And I'm getting really tired and I start making mistakes when I'm tired. I also cut a hole into the skirt somewhere in these pleats, which I'll have to mend. But hopefully I will get it done tomorrow. All I need to do now is to attach the lining on the inside and then the zipper and then do the hemming on the bottom and that should be the dress done. I do have to say it's a pain to make. I'm not enjoying this project as much as I'd hoped. I think it's because of the very confusing pattern. But it is turning out really nice and it has pockets, which I know you guys love. <laughs> so yes, I will see you again tomorrow. The dress is finished! Ta-da! <laughs> I have very mixed feelings about this one. It's not perfect, it's far from perfect. In fact, the shoulder bits are very wide. They are slipping off my shoulders, front and back. The darts that I made bigger, strangely enough, fit onto the skirt, which I didn't make bigger perfectly. I feel like just everything that is kind of wrong with this dress at the moment is because of the pattern and not because of mistakes that I have made, I think. I'm pretty sure, because uh, usually I can identify what I did wrong pretty well. But I feel like in this case, the pattern is just a little bit weird. Because yeah, if I had made the bodice the way it was supposed to be, it would have been too small for the skirt. And I made it a bit bigger now, and it is a little bit big on me. It has a bit of ease. I put a belt on it to cinch a little bit. You can see it's kind of gathering up here. So it could have been a bit tighter, but now I do have a bit of room for food, baby. So... <laughs> I'm not too bothered about that and I do actually like it with a belt it breaks the pattern a bit. Also the sleeves are a bit weird They bunch up in this strange way, which I don't feel You know should be necessary that might be my problem though, but usually my sleeves don't do that um, So I'm not exactly sure what went wrong there It might also have to do with my fabric choice a little bit because this fabric is just not meant for dresses and I do feel like the skirt is a little bit short I would have liked that maybe like 10 centimeters longer 5 or 10 so that it's just below the knee instead of on the knee but that's just a personal preference beside all that I do really love it I adore this pattern I think the pattern is striking enough that it distracts from the imperfections of the dress I really like the pleats on the skirt I've never done pleats before and I really like how they look I feel like it looks semi-formal-ish the dress that might be again because of the stiffness of the fabric and I do actually like that it has pockets <laughs> not enough to make pockets on all my dresses but I do I do enjoy that and I am very proud of the zipper I made right here with one of those over zipper flaps I'm sure there's a proper name for those, but yeah, I do need to install a hook and eye on the top here, the top closure there, but um, other than that, it's done. It is fully lined on the inside as well. The top has a lining of the same fabric. It is not super comfortable, <laughs> just because the fit of the bodice is a bit weird, especially around, you know, the sleeves and everything. But the fabric itself is not too bad. It's not super soft, but it's not uncomfortable. And yeah, all in all, mixed feelings. Uh, I do think I will come to love this dress more Possibly, as I'm able to look at it from a bit more of a distance instead of, you know, right after I've made it. And it was a difficult process, this one. So I think for my next project, I would like to draft my own pattern again. Um, I do miss doing that, and I'm fed up with patterns <laughs> at this point. So I think my next project will be 
self-drafted but we'll see we'll see i am quite happy with it i'm very happy i was able to use this fabric which is absolutely gorgeous and i adore so yeah here is my philodendron dress so i really hope you enjoyed this little sew with me video guys if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content and sewing of course if you would like to support me through patreon or my merch store there will be links in the description below thank you so much for your support there is another video here that i think you might also enjoy you can go watch next thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video